Hey guys, Sarah here. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm sharing a gigantic American Eagle and Airy try on haul. So if you're interested in that, keep watching. And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe before you leave so you don't miss any of my future videos. I have tons and tons of content coming. The Nordstrom anniversary sale is coming up, which I will be covering and doing try on hauls. I share fashion, beauty, and lifestyle. So definitely subscribe and click that notification bell so that you don't miss out. All right, let's get into it. Per usual, if you've seen any of my try on hauls, I'm a medium on the top, a size six on the bottoms. If I don't say what size I got, that's what size I got. Um, and if I say it fits true to size, those are the sizes. I will link every single item down below in the bottom bar in case you're interested in it, along with anything else I'm wearing with it, jewelry or shoes or shorts or anything like that. All of the things will be listed down below in the bottom bar so that you can find it very, very easily. I will link everything per usual, any accessories I'm wearing, anything I'm wearing that is not from American Eagle or Aerie will still be linked down below in the description box. But the first outfit is my sparkly slide sandals. Love these. They're super, uh, super affordable. My favorite denim shorts, which you're going to see these throughout the entire video. And then this is the first tank. It's this really adorable peplum cut and it has really skinny straps. It is high necked, which I love. And it has this really pretty like ribbed striped material. So that is the texture of the material. I love the lettuce cut at the bottom of it. And it is a little bit of a high low. It's not a crazy high low by any sense, but just a little bit of a high low. This is super, super soft and it comes in a couple of colors. Um, I have one little issue with this shirt and it's the fact that I bought it in this shade and then also in a solid coral color. And I'm just going to show you guys the fit of that one. They're both a size medium. This one I have plenty of room in. So I guess I could have sized down to a small. I do like the length of this one though. So I probably wouldn't want to size down. Um, so just keep in mind how this one fits me and like where it's hitting. Now let's look at the other medium that I bought. All right, here's the other medium. It is inches shorter which is crazy. And although I feel like it's fine in the body, it is definitely smaller. I mean, this is hitting me like at my belly button. The other one hit basically at my pant line. So the size difference in this is insane. Um, and I'm assuming that the other one is their true medium because from the reviews I read, a lot of people said that the armhole was a little too big. And this one is like, fine on me. The other one is fine too, but I can tell that it's a lot bigger than this one is. So anyway, this is the the only issue I have with this shirt. Um, I think that they probably missized this one or something. I don't know. It was on, this color was on clearance. So I don't know if the entire batch was kind of like not made correctly and that's why they threw it on clearance. But either way, the striped one, absolutely love. One of my favorite tops of the summer. This one, I love the color and I wish that it was the same size. I actually might just exchange it because I just love the color of it and I love the fit of this top in general. If you've been following me for any amount of time whatsoever, you've definitely seen me wear airy sweatshirts. They are hands down my favorite brand of sweatshirts. I'm just gonna show you. This is slightly embarrassing, but I will show you anyway. This is one of the drawers, obviously in my pack system, that has a bunch of my sweatshirts in it and airy. Airy, 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 airy. So needless to say, I love a good airy sweatshirt. And I have some from over the years. They're always my like most asked about pieces. And a lot of times they'll sell out. And then I obviously can't share them with you guys. So I always recommend if you see an airy sweatshirt that you love, grab it because sizes and colors will sell out. Anyway, this is another one. Uh, this one is an off the shoulder I love this color of green. I think it is so beautiful. It's like a sagey, just really pretty darker green. I love that the cut is kind of the raw hem along the neckline. The sleeves are nice and long. Um, I mean, 
I know a lot of people don't like off the neck this or off the shoulder. This sweatshirt is so wide that I feel like you have to wear it off the shoulder. So if that's not your jam, I would pass on this one. Um, it is a boxy cut, so it kind of goes a little bit lower in the back, not by a lot, but if you hang your arm out, you have a lot of room. It's definitely an oversized sweatshirt. Um, again, I'm 5'7". I'm wearing like mid to high rise shorts and it fit, it hits just like below the button. This is a size medium. Um, I would say I personally wouldn't size down because I wouldn't want it to be too short and be showing skin. That's my personal opinion. Obviously, if you are cool with that, then you might consider sizing down so that you don't have quite as much fabric or length in the arms. Um, the arms are really long, obviously on the side that the shoulder is down, but on the other side, they're still nice and long. Um, I have really long arms, so I am like living for this sweatshirt because a lot of times they won't be long enough for me. But yeah, I love the cut of this. I think it's super flattering. It's the perfect summer, like bonfire at the beach type of a sweatshirt. Um, and this is something that, I mean, I could sleep in it. It's so comfortable. So highly recommend this. And again, just keep that in mind when you're thinking about sizing, um, as far as length and your height and all of that. Speaking of sweatshirts, I obviously have to talk about this one because I grabbed another color. And in, I have the tan one, this color. It's more of like an oatmeal almost. And in that one, I have a large because I was worried about the length. And this one, I accidentally purchased a medium, but I figured it'd be good for me to show you guys. I'll actually try that one on too so you can see. So this one, you can see if I'm just standing straight you can see the button of my shorts. Um, so if I raise my arms, you're seeing skin. I personally just want a little bit more length because not all of my shorts are this high rise. Some of them are like a true medium rise. And in those ones, you would be able to see skin even with my arms down. So that for me is just like something to keep in mind. The sleeves are still a decent length and I do still have plenty of room in this one. So this is the medium for reference, but I just wanted to show you kind of the difference in the length. And I'll just show you the details of this one since this is my new color of it. So it has a raw hem at the bottom. It's just like a cut raw hem. At the top, it's got some distressing here and here, and then also just some cut marks along the neckline. It also has the split sleeve and some cut marks along this sleeve cuff. This is one of my favorite sweatshirts, so I have worn the oatmeal one over and over and over again. I love it so much. So I actually didn't even realize that I had ordered a medium of this when I first got it because I just threw it on and didn't even realize until I was at the grocery store and went to grab something off a shelf and I was like, ooh, I can tell skin showing. I was not expecting that. So I looked at the tag when I got home. Sure enough, it was a medium, but the fit of it, I feel like is, I mean, pretty similar. This is the large. If I just stand, it hits just below the um, button of my shorts. So it's probably like an inch to an inch and a half longer. The sleeves are the same, just a little bit longer. Um, but I don't think that this is unflattering. I don't think that it looks too big on me. Because of the cut of it, it's really flattering. I mean, I definitely have a lot of room in here, but I don't think that the one size up really made that much of a difference in the fit of the body of it. It's just a, you know, crop sweatshirt and you can see it just kind of sticks out just like it would no matter what size you got. So, um, yeah, absolutely love this. Cannot recommend this sweatshirt enough. It is so good. Swapped out for my animal print slides. Uh, this long sleeve tee, this is their boyfriend tee in the long sleeve, the cropped version. This is a size medium um, and it hits kind of right right at right below the button of my shorts so it is a cropped version if you're wearing like a low rise which i truly don't understand why anyone wears lo low rise at this point because it's so uncomfortable but if you were you'd probably see some skin um that's not an issue if you're wearing medium or or like i guess mid rise or high rise this is the color raw sienna which i love this color. I have so many things in this color. It is just a plain long sleeve tee. It's really, really thin material. It's nice and soft. The sleeves are a good length. The neckline is a little bit wider than a crew neck, so you can see it's not like tight against my neck. 
uh, and it does have that same splitting along the neckline that some of their other ones have and you do have that a little bit on the cuff as well this comes in a ton of colors it was super affor affordable i think i'm actually going to grab another one because this is something that i could throw on and go it's something i would lounge in run errands in just be around the house and work from home in I know a lot of you guys are still working from home, which I've been working from home for years now. This is just a great piece, and I think that this will transition into fall really nicely as well, which I think we're looking for that too at this point since we're heading into August next week. So yeah, love this, and I like that it's cropped and just, I think it's really flattering. If you do not have this Henley yet, run and grab it ASAP. I got one of these last fall. I got the white one, which is right here. Um, I grabbed it last fall and then they completely sold out. And then in the spring, they launched more. They came out with them again this fall. Now they're in a ton of colors. They come in that raw sienna color, which is that like nude color I was talking about earlier. And obviously I wanted to grab something different. So I got this pink color, which I love this color so much. The fit is the same. I did a full comparison on my Instagram stories in case you missed it. Um, of the fabric and everything from last year to this year. These always sell out though. So if you are in the market for just a throw on and go lightweight long sleeve, grab this. It is such a staple piece for me through the winter. I wore mine on repeat and without fail every single time I wore it, I got questions about it and it was always sold out. So this is your forewarning. I'm going to wear this and it's going to be sold out at some point. So that's that. Um, it comes with thumb holes and the sleeves are a nice length. The fabric is a super lightweight ribbed material. Comes in a bunch of different colors. This is what the material looks like. I usually front tuck mine. You obviously don't have to. It has a split hem and it is a high low so it's lower in the back than it is in the front. But I love that these kind of have like the drop shoulder so it still gives you that nice flowy look but then the rest of the sleeve is more fitted so you aren't, it's not unflattering which I love that. Um, the buttons are functional so you can button up or unbutton as many as you want it has the five buttons and if you button it all the way up obviously this is what it would look like um, but i love this because a lot of times with shirts like this i feel like they're too low cut for me so you can just button up however many you want to button up this is a medium it is an oversized fit like i have plenty of room in here but I just, I really love it. I feel like it flows nicely and it, since the material is so flowy and so thin, it doesn't add bulk to you. It still will just flow down. So love this. I cannot recommend this shirt enough. So if you're in the market for something like this, it's just a really good basic to transition to summer or to fall with and then through winter, um, grab this and it comes in, I want to say like six or seven colors. Totally switched gears here. Um, I will link some black sneaker options. I love a good pair of black sneakers and these leggings actually are from Airy. I will link, I don't know if they have this exact color anymore because these are not from this purchase. They're from a bit ago, but I will link what leggings they are because they're so good. They are like the most smoothing leggings. They're super high waisted. They go right up to my belly button. Um, and they're just really, really nice flattering leggings. But one of the biggest holes in my wardrobe is jackets, which is weird because I live somewhere that has all four seasons. So you would think that I'd have this covered. I do not. So I grabbed this jacket. It's a really lightweight. It's almost like a raincoat windbreaker type thing. Uh, and I love this. It comes in camo and it also comes in black. I obviously got the black, but it has zipper pockets right here. Um, it does have a hood, but the hood lays flat, which I really appreciate. I don't like bulky hoods at all. And this does zip up all the way. The sleeves are elastic, so they are not going to like let anything up there if it's really windy or anything. Um, let me zip it up and then also show you how you can cinch it. All right, so I zipped it up, obviously, and then I just cinched the sides in. They have, now I'm not going to be able to find it because I'm looking for it. Um, these and so you can make them as loose or as tight as you want so I just tightened them and then tucked it underneath and you can have it be just like a completely different look or you can let them out 
and you can wear it zipped up um, and undone but that's a little bit of a high low again i'm 5 7 this does cover my butt so i have no issues wearing it with leggings if i was out and about this is what i was looking for when i was doing 75 hard and it was really windy on certain days or i just needed a light jacket but not like my winter coat or anything like that this is a really great piece if you live somewhere that has all four seasons i know i'm going to get a ton of use out of this come fall especially if i'm just trying to be active like go for a walk or something i'm trying to get out of the house every day so once it cools down a little bit this is going to be so amazing because you obviously didn't know before this that i love this color so this is the short sleeve boyfriend tee and this one is also a size medium you're gonna see a major difference between this one and the long sleeve so this one has a large or wider rather neckline so you can wear it off the shoulder i just wanted to show you what that looks like the sleeves are pretty long for a short sleeve but again it is that boyfriend style so it is kind of like a boat neck if you wear it on your shoulders and the sleeves go all the way to my elbow which again i'm five seven these ones notoriously fit large i do have a medium in it so i would if you wanted to fit like more classically like a t-shirt i would grab a size down i do have it front tucked but you can untuck it obviously and it's pretty long and there's lots of room in it so you could most certainly size down from your normal size if you don't want it to be quite as oversized as this um the sleeves are a bit long especially if you wear it off the shoulder but these are super soft and i feel like these are the perfect again like lounging working from home top that you can throw on and go you could sleep in it if you wanted to it's just a really easy lightweight t-shirt this tank almost looks like a bodysuit when you have it tucked in it is a really super soft ribbed material i love that it's high-waisted it's got these super skinny straps um, it is double lined on the front, but not in the back. You'll probably be able to see from the side that it's a different color, um, a different shade of white. It's not quite as opaque in the back as it is in the front. Uh, so yeah, it is double lined. I think that if you don't have boobs, you would probably be able to get away without wearing a bra with it because it is kind of a thicker material and it is double lined in the front obviously not the case for me, but I figured I would just share that with you guys. And it isn't long at all. So I think if you're not wearing high-waisted something or other that you would have skin showing, uh, but you can tuck it in. And I think it looks like a bodysuit when it's tucked in. So that's that. This is a medium for reference. Um, and I'm going to show you guys next the outfit that I actually bought it for. These chambray short alls are the comfiest thing ever i love them so 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 much they have two pockets here full disclosure if you put something in these that's heavier than i don't know like a credit card or something it does completely just like weigh down the entire outfit which is not ideal so i tried putting my phone in here the other day and even just walking to my backyard it was annoying so this is not something that the pockets are very functional. The straps are adjustable in the back, which is really convenient because you can have the entire outfit, the shorts get shorter or longer. This part lays either taller or not, but I did buy this tank top for these. Um, I do like it with them, but I kind of wish that this wasn't showing so much. It's not as high necked. Um, but I don't have a lot of form-fitting clothes, so I didn't really have a tank to wear under this. So that is kind of why I bought it. But these fit true to size. They're just like a really nice comfy thing to throw on. Um, they are long in on the sides, and then they have like the racer back in the back, and they're just plain shorts. So they come in a couple of different colors. I just love these so much. And if you got the ones that tie... At the shoulders over the summer this is the same fit so I got this pair earlier this summer and they sold out really quickly uh, but yeah they're the exact same fit so if you got those get the same size in these ones these at craft sweats are like the perfect balance for summertime <sighs> I'm sad to say I think I'm going to return them because I do have the full length version of these the exact same cut only they're longer and I have them in the same color like this is 
probably overkill and I probably don't need these even though I really love them. So they are cropped so you get a little bit of like wind flow. I think that these would be really cute with sneakers. You could wear them to run errands. You could also cuff them a little bit more and give them a little bit more of a jogger look. But they have the pockets, a drawstring, and an elastic waistband so they're really really comfy. They're soft and fuzzy on the inside and I will say that they hold up. This material holds up really well. I have the, like I said, the full length version with the cinched um, ankles and they have held up between a million washes. So highly, highly recommend these if you're in the market for something like this. The hem is raw, so they're just cut off at the ankle. That being said, if you are shorter than me, you could cut them more if you felt like the fit of them was not flattering on you. Alrighty guys, that is everything that I recently picked up from American Eagle and Airy. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe before you leave so you don't miss any of my future videos. Thanks so much for watching. Bye guys.